Rayleigh in Essex might be small, but it's full of history, with its mention in the Doomsday Book of 1086 to a royal hunting lodge for King Henry VIII, surviving two world wars, COVID-19, and now onto the cusp of Christmas in 2021. To commemorate this history, Rayleigh Town Museum created a heritage trail in and around the High Street. I spoke with Museum Chairman Mike Davies to learn a little more. My name is Mike Davies, I'm the Chairman of the Rayleigh Town Museum. There is a wonderful scheme in Rayleigh of the heritage plaques which commemorate places, people and events throughout the centuries which are particularly specific to Rayleigh. Now we currently have 32 plaques around town and every year there are 3,050 of these lovely leaflets produced giving details of the trail and we often see the children of Rayleigh walking around with their parents, their grandparents looking at the various plaques. For such a small town Rayleigh has a wealth of history and all that wealth of history can be explored and enjoyed in the Rayleigh Town Museum. The museum opened in 2016 and we're open on a Wednesday, Friday and Saturday between the hours of 10am and 4pm. Absolutely free. There is far, far too much to explore and enjoy on all aspects of Rayleigh's history. But we can certainly try. Starting at the museum and on the front of Pizza Express, the Heritage Trail begins with plaque number one. I took a walk up, down and around the high street to find the rest. Every single heritage plaque in Rayleigh has a story to tell itself. All of them are very interesting and it depends on your particular interest um, how much more detail you want to find out about it. Just a couple of examples for you is the Traveller's Joy Public House. Now over the years there's been 23 pubs in Rayleigh but the Traveller's Joy Public House was once the site of the prison in Rayleigh. Three buildings there were known as Louisa Terrace and the Barracks and it was a warning to travellers coming through Rayleigh on the mail coach, the Shanks's pony or however they travelled along the main road that if you come into Rayleigh to cause trouble you'll end up in prison. But far better to be in the prison than on the other side of the road because that's where the gallows were in Rayleigh and we've got many stories available in the Rayleigh Town Museum of some of the incidents that took place at the gallows. We still have much to learn, but that's a fascinating insight into Rayleigh's history. By this point you've walked the majority of the Rayleigh Heritage Trail and should be at the very top of the High Street. Plaque 24 highlights the Holy Trinity Church and the area of correction it used to overlook. 
Town miscreants were tried, punished and ridiculed at the whipping post, pillory, stocks and cage near this spot. And you've completed the Rayleigh Heritage Trail. Hopefully you've also learnt a few facts along the way. Don't forget to visit the Rayleigh Town Museum for more information on the trail and the town's history. And follow Sarah Leonard Journo on Facebook for the latest local news or follow the same handle on Instagram.